is it upside down, so it is learned and the faster we come to the point to realize we have to unlearn it. Hallelujah, you know, it's like, I, I was in university for 10 years and it's like, ah, it's like, <laughs> reverse, <laughs> quickly, reverse, reverse. But it's a great insight and then because the lessons seem to come so much faster when you see it's about letting go, it's about not trying to hold on and, and maintain anything. It's like a dismantling happening, an undoing happening. And um, so for me, when the Course in Miracles says learning, right away I think unlearning. I, I even laugh, I say ha ha ha. A Course in Miracles, you know, it's, ha ha ha. It's unlearn everything, empty your mind of everything you think you, you, you know. And then it's almost like there's a rejoicing that comes even when you have a stuck point where you find you're invested in something because you go, aha, I discovered another investment, you know, which is a good thing too. And so I find it, it turns around in a positive way that what seemed to be life, the previous life, it does seem kind of like nonsense, uh, you know, like there, there was no point to it. It's the opposite of psychotherapy, a lot of times where you're supposed to go back and dig in the past and find out these key events, what happened and all this and that. You know, you start to realize none of that really matters anyway. If you're, if you're upset, it's because you're making a decision to be upset and, and you need to get in touch with the block, with the false identification that's taking place. So I always laugh when I hear Shakespeare, much ado about nothing, because it's it's like a nonsense world. He's a real nowhere man, living in his nowhere land, making all his nowhere plans for nobody. <laughs> it's like, that's it, you know? It's, and, and to not look on that in a, in a dark way, but thank God that I'm not going to try to try to keep up appearances, try to hold on to concepts, you know. I remember, I, I became aware that ambition was actually a, a detriment, it wasn't a positive thing at all. And therefore, I started to give myself more and more permission to just let it all go. Kind of like John Lennon's watching the wheels, after all those years of Beatles and all this success and fame and all these things, you know, he, he comes out with, I'm sitting here watching the wheels go round and round. I really love to watch them roll, no longer riding on the merry-go-round, I just had to let it go. It's a total point of surrender. I saw that as maturity, I thought, oh, when I first heard it, you know, I, I could see, oh my gosh, it's a letting go. And that's the, the key to everything. So now I've attracted a bunch of people, I live with people who are, have no ambition at all. <laughs> and it's really interesting to live in a household with zero ambition. Uh, it's really fun. Or poster child. <laughs> <laughs> But it's also freeing, because the ambition, you know, it never ends. If you, if you go, how good is good enough? How much attainment, how much achievement? It's like a wheel that just spins and spins, and you never arrive when you're really following the wheel of, of ambition. It is kind of funny in this culture, because this is such an ambition-based culture, you know. But actually it starts to be silly, you start to see, you know, it's all silly.